Older cats are more likely to have a problem with the kidneys than younger cats. A significant increase in life expectancy is likely if an appropriate treatment plan is put into place and pay. Majority of cats respond well to treatment. So, we are going to watch about the how to treat kidney disease in cats. Method 1. Treating kidney disease with medical intervention. First is use ACE inhibitors to prolong the life of the kidneys. The use of ACE inhibitors increases the survival times of cats with mild to moderate kidney disease. They work by dilating the arteries leading into the kidney so that the local blood pressure falls and is less likely to cause damage. Step 2 Monitor the cat for bladder infections There is a distinct risk that bacteria in the bladder may make their way upstream and colonize the kidney, resulting in pyelonephritis. Concentrated urine is a natural antiseptic and produces a hostile environment for bacteria. Unfortunately, cats with kidney disease form weak urine that is. Step 3 Prevent Hypertension Hypertension is detected by measuring the cat's venous blood pressure in a paw or in the vein under the tail. If the blood pressure is between 160 to 180 mm of mercury then adding in an ACE inhibitor should be sufficient to protect the cat. However, if pay. Finally, use medications to repair toxin damage to the stomach wall. When a cat has kidney disease, there are raised levels of urea and phosphate in the blood. This may result in ulceration, which can be seen as inflamed, ulcerated tissue on the gums or tongue. It can also produce stomach ulcers. And tips. Method 2. Managing your cat's diet. First is give your cat protein-restricted food to limit the kidney's workload. A cat with kidney disease has an impaired ability to do this. To keep your cat's kidneys from struggling with food, feed your cat a diet which, when digested, is lower in toxins. Step 2. Reduce blood phosphate levels through renal diets. High blood phosphate levels cause further harm to the kidney. The phosphate molecule causes damage which results in scar tissue. High blood levels irritate the stomach lining and cause nausea. Step 3. Add a phosphate binder to your cat's food. Reynoldsim comes in a pump dispenser bottle and has a paste-like consistency. One or two pumps should be added to the food twice a day. Step 4. Check to see if your cat is hydrated. You can detect dehydration by using the finger and thumb of one hand to grasp the scruff over the shoulders and lift the skin vertically away from the backbone. When you let go, the skin of a well-hydrated animal springs back into place immediately. In a dehydrated animal, Step 5. Keep your cat hydrated. Simple things like providing a pet water fountain or placing dog bowls of water around the house may encourage your cat to drink. If the cat becomes dehydrated it may be necessary to give the cat intravenous fluids and put it on a drip. Finally, improve the cat's appetite using B vitamins. Many cats with kidney disease have a poor appetite. This can be caused by both inflammation in the stomach lining and a lack of vitamin B. B vitamins are important for a good appetite but are water soluble. Method 3. Understanding kidney disease in cats. First is understand why kidney disease occurs. Younger cats are less likely to have renal disease. If it does occur, it is usually because of a genetic disorder causing premature aging of the kidney. Step 2. Recognize the signs of kidney disease. 
General signs include increased thirst, weight loss, and poor appetite. As the condition advances the cat may become dehydrated and vomit. Finally, know how kidney disease is diagnosed. Your veterinarian may run urine and blood tests to diagnose renal disease. An ultrasound scan of the kidney to rule out cancer. Kidney biopsies are infrequently done unless the scan indicates cancer. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.